द क्वेश्चन इज ए बी एंड सी आर पार्टनर शेयरिंग प्रॉफिट्स एंड लॉसेस इन द रेशियो ऑफ थ्री इज टू टू इज टू वन रेस्पेक्टिवली दिस इज द फर्स्ट लाइन द लास्ट लाइन इज प्रिपेयर नेसेसरी लेजर अकाउंट्स एंड बैलेंस शीट आफ्टर डिस एडमिशन नेसेसरी लेजर अकाउंट्स दैट मीन्स रिवॉल्यूशन अकाउंट कैपिटल अकाउंट ऑफ ए बी सी एंड डी दीज फोर लेजर्स फॉर कैपिटल एंड वन इज बैंक अकाउंट और कैश अकाउंट एंड नेसेसरी लेजर मीन्स द कैश और बैंक अकाउंट मे नॉट बी देयर मे और मे नॉट बी देयर and then balance it after this admission you have to read the question very carefully and then start the first one being working notes journal entry for a cancellation of a bees personal expenses error erroneously debited to profit and loss account that means some amount rupees 2000 was paid for bees private expenses say the c part Expenses debited in the profit and loss account includes a sum of rupees two thousand paid for bees personal expenses. Due to this, the profit and loss is reduced. Hence, we have to increase the profit by crediting bees capital account in the revaluation account. Hence, in the revaluation account, write down. By bees capital account and the general entry will be bees capital account debited to revaluation account. That means the profit is increased by mistake. Bees private expenses, personal expenses was debited to revaluation account. And the next one being, this is one adjustment. The next one is D part of your adjustment. The D part of your adjustment is a deb a. Bill of exchange of rupees four thousand, which was previously discounted with the banker, was dishonored as on thirty first March two thousand seventeen. But no entry has been passed for that. Journal entry for rectification of dishonored bill previously discounted with the bank, but not recorded in the books. This was taught to us in eleventh class in the chapter bill of exchange. When we discount a bill and it is dishonored, it is debtors account debited to bank account it is not a bills receivable account debited it is debited to debtors account debtors account debited to bank account the entry which was not passed at that time is now recorded in the books and the amount is rupees 4000 i am explaining this via journal entry that's why it will be better for treatment in the for the process of solving the an question now Fair notes. First of all, revaluation account format. After drawing the format, the first one being A part. Out of the creditors, B part. Advertisement expenses of twelve hundred are to be carried forward to the next accounting period as prepaid expenses. You can say only by P prepaid advertisement expenses. or only prepaid expenses or only prepaid expenses that is prepaid advertisement expenses is the best word it is increase in asset it is being carried forward hence it will be credited to revaluation account the next one being by bees capital account for bees private expenses i have already explained to you about that that is c adjustment Expenses debited in the profit and loss account includes a sum of rupees two thousand paid for bees personal expenses by bees capital account two thousand. And the third one being to provision for doubtful debts. This is E part. A provision for doubtful debt at the rate of five percent is to be created against debtors. Debtors is thirty thousand. Five percent of this is fifteen hundred. But we have written seventeen hundred. Debtor is a debit balance, and you have seen bill of exchange discounted at bank and dishonored. Hence, we have to increase the debtor by two thousand more. 
because debtor's account debited to bank i passed the second entry must have remembered and that is we have to prepare the provision on 30000 plus 2000 32000 at the rate of 5% is equal to 1700 hence uh, provision for doubtful debt will be 1700 that is 5% on 32000 because debtor was again debited by 4000 next one is your a cap to a capital account expenses paid by a rupees 2100 that is the adjustment part f expenses and revaluation amounted to rupees 2100 is paid by a the journal entry is revaluation account debited to A's capital account because A is personally paying, hence his capital account will, will be increased and it is an expenditure, hence revaluation account will be debited. The next one will be by capital account revaluation loss transport because the debit side having higher values and the totaling is higher than the credit side. We have to total the debit side that is rupees 3800 it will be taken to the credit side rupees 3800 and it will be distributed in the old ratio of a 3 is to 2 is to 1 this is rupees 3800 minus 3200 that is equal to 600 and a is equal to rupees 600 multiplied by 3 by 6 that is equal to 300 b is equal to rupees 600 multiplied by 2 by 6 that is rupees 200 and C is equal to rupees 600 multiplied by 1 by 6 that is equal to 100 then that is 100 and totaling is 600 the journal entry is A's capital account debited B's capital account debited C's capital account debited to revaluation account next is your balance sheet draw a proper format for four partners then buy balance brought down because capital is a credit balance Opening balance will be like buy balance brought down that is rupees 60,000, 60,000 and 40,000 for A, B and C respectively. Then next one is buy cash account. D is bringing rupees 50,000 as his capital and no premium for goodwill is there. Hence we have not found out sacrificing ratio, old gaining ratio like this then by creditors rupees 10,000 this is regarding this a part out of the creditors a sum of rupees 10,000 is due to D which will be transferred to his capital account by creditors account that is creditors is a credit balance it is to be debited for a transfer that is creditors account debited to D's capital account and D will bring in rupees is to pay 50,000 as capital total payment is to pay 50,000 but the total amount of capital will be 50,000 hence he has to pay 40,000 cash and he has to uh, compensate to the creditors rupees 10,000 hence total payment will be 50,000 his balance is in, in his capital account the credit balance will be rupees 50,000 now by revaluation account 2100 because the entry was revaluation account debited to S capital account in S capital account this is by revaluation account and next one is for a revaluation loss partners capital account S capital account debited 300 B S capital account debited 200 C S capital account debited 100 to revaluation account in the debit side of a capital account next one is B's capital account debited to revaluation account because B's cap private expenses was paid out of farms money we passed the, this entry in the revaluation account that is B's capital account debited to revaluation account hence in B's capital account it is to revaluation account next one is we have to total the credit side take it to the debit side and find out the difference the totaling for A is rupees 62,100 that of B is 60,000 that of C is rupees 40,000 and D is rupees 50,000 and balance carried down will be for A rupees 61,800 for B rupees 57,800 for C rupees 37,900 and D rupees 50,000 then our balance sheet balance sheet of the new farm as at 31st April 2017 we have to start from the asset side 
that is land and building rupees 50,000, plant and machinery rupees 40,000, furniture rupees 30,000, no change, stock rupees 20,000, debtors, there is a change, debtors is already appearing in the books 30,000 and there is a add bills receivable dishonored 34,000 that is total amounted to 34,000. And a provision for doubtful debts will be calculated on 34,000 but not on 30,000. That is less provision for doubtful debts that is 34,000 at the rate of a 5 percent that is equal to 1700. And after deducting this we have to write down in the final column rupees 32,300. This is the is a change. And next one is bills receivable. Bills receivable already appearing in the books is at rupees 20,000 and there is no change. Bank 10,000 and a dishonored bill is to be deducted from the bank because bank will deduct rupees 4,000 when the bill discounted at bank is dishonored without informing the account holder and later on they will inform the account holder. Hence, bank balance is deducted by rupees 4000 or reduced by rupees 4000. Then, next one is prepaid advertisement expenses. It is to be carried forward to the next year rupees 1200 and cash in hand that is 40,000 amount paid as capital by D. The next one is capital accounts in the liability side. S capital rupees 61,800, B capital rupees 57,800, C capital is rupees 39,900, D capital rupees 40,000. Total is 2,19,500. This is B capital is 50,000. Creditors 10,000, 50,000. And creditors rupees 20,000, bills payable 10,000. Totaling of both the side of the balance sheet is rupees 2,39,500. And this is the final answer.